Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome once again to From the Tabletop, the TTRPG broadcast from the League of Extraordinarily OK Gamers. I'm the Wraith, your host and GM, and I am thrilled you're here and tuning in for another session of The Dawns Our Voyage Holds. Today, we also get to hang out with uh, Hawkeye4124. Bonjour now. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, your local N7. Uh, and Guy Fox 88. Hola. All right. Oh, this is great. What a beautiful start. Um, so uh, we are back with our next session in the Returns and Retrievals line with uh, Mathos, Fawit, and Zahida. Um, so a quick recap. Um, uh, you, the three of you had been sent by... Uh, both Nilia, the governess of Third Shuldor, and uh, Kintelstral, the kind of bigwig in the Bohemians, um, to... He's, he's a spy. He's, I mean, he, he's, he's many things. Um, and so you guys had been sent um, back to uh, Third Shoulder here to check on a few things. Um, we'll get to that... Um, I just have a couple quick things I want to go over here. Um, so, for wit, um, I don't remember if I'd asked you about this before or not, but um, back with the battle you guys had uh, with Edgar and the, um, the Ebon Armada people back in, in the in New Water Nest, uh, you were the one that killed Edgar at the end, right? Do you remember that? Vaguely, yes. Um the question I had concerning that was, um, did you count that as one of your... Uh, oh, wait, that's not what I want. Oh, so, I didn't even think of that. Um, oh, here we go. I know what you're going for. Yeah. Because uh, we have a thing in here on your... We we Did we level up after that? Um, I don't know. Did you? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm. If we yeah, did, I certainly didn't do it. I only have six XP, so I, I think no, maybe probably we not. Have just you're... done it maybe before the session before that or something. Oh shit! I should have probably leveled up because I have twenty. Oh nice! Leveling up is current level plus seven. Mm, I'm level four, so that's very high. Mm hmm. Level yeah, five. I'm level five with six. Six yeah, extra points. For it, so I yeah, should still points. have. So you should probably be nine XP. Five. Yeah. What do I get for leveling up? Um, leveling up, you get to here. Let me read it real quick. Um, choose one of your stats to increase by one. This may change your modifier. Um, changing your constitution increases your current or maximum and current AP ability scores can't exceed eighteen. Um, and then you also get to choose a new move um, from your uh, from your playbook. Um, which I think you, we should be... Is five advanced moves yet? Uh, six through ten. Six okay. through ten. Okay, so not advanced moves yet. <laughs> Damn it. Um, so you can take there's the um the handout with I think it's on the Animancy handout at the bottom. Yeah, there's uh, those are advanced moves. Never mind. Oh, there's level two to five moves if you want to take one of those. Or you can take any of the ones from your uh playbook that you were using or playbooks, since we've kind of mashed some of these together. Um Honestly, if you don't remember yeah, which ones find you were using, yeah, if you if you can find that and figure one out, um, then then go for it. Um, if not, we should probably um, wait till after to do that. But anyway, yeah. um, <clears throat> so but make sure you um, increase one of your yep dexterity is at eighteen. Now. Great, um, beautiful. The only the only thing I'm thinking of is if you hadn't gotten the chance because you're supposed to level up when you're you know when you're resting in camp or whatever mm -hmm. um but having that much experience you probably had done that before 
Yeah, I'm like assuming we that went to I, the end of the session I meant to do it. Like, you know what? I'll just wait yeah. the next time. I'll do it later. <laughs> right. And then it was six months later. <laughs> Entirely possible. Um, so anyway, for wit, did, um, do you think that is um, a thing you counted for your, um, your kill count? Um, I was trying to remember if we had that written somewhere. I <clears throat> I don't know if we wrote it down, but I, I would say too. definitely, but I didn't even think of that at the time. Uh, all right, I don't have. Um, I vaguely remember. I think we said she still had like six people or something like that. Six to go. Yeah, like six like to 14 go. Fourteen out of twenty. Um, yeah. So make a make a note of that somewhere. Um, and if if you just if you decided you want to you want to count that one as one of your things, if you're still counting, that's a, a character choice to make. Um, and then do you? Uh, I think we may have discussed this. Do you keep like some kind of uh, token of of the kill, or do you do you just have them have the count? I mean, I think it would make sense if there was some sort of token. Okay. Um. So what did but you, I, what did you uh, <clears throat> take from Edgar then? What is the least gruesome option? <laughs> the least gruesome. <laughs> is it your? <laughs> Seems fine. Ooh, no, that's definitely gruesome. Hair. Hmm. I'd rather have an ear. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> um, I mean that's up that's up to you. Or like, you or wanna... like maybe if they're wearing like rings, like a or ring, yeah, yeah. Or that's yeah. something. I more want to go into not cutting anything <laughs> body off parts of the off. person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's just go for a ring. Okay. Um. So make a note of that and and uh, figure out what you what you want that ring to look like um, just for fun. Um, and uh, I guess go ahead and add that to your inventory. Um, great. So that was one thing. How do you um, spell Edgar's name? Um, E-T-K-E-R. Okay. Um, that's so I went back and pulled up the link that you linked us to the troll book, mm -hmm. and it is no longer active. Uh oh, all right. No. We'll have to go. <laughs> we'll have to go look at that later then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. Um. Uh. So this. Uh. So Mathos, you were the one that rolled the roll for Gentis Gentish at the end of last session for lighting the. Mm, the was that me? Are we sure? I'm. I literally just finished watching the video earlier today. It was mm. definitely you. <laughs> Got his ass in 4K. The reason. <laughs> the. Re <laughs> The reason I'm saying that is because I want to make sure that you take an XP for that. Um, because it does say I checked the rules. It does say to take an XP for it, even though you're rolling. I mean, I half. may have. I just don't know if I did or not. So. Um. Yeah. Well. I'd and say I want you to ahead, look it. at the value on Ecker's ring, and I just want you to appreciate this. Ooh, I'm so excited to pull this up on stream right now. Why is it taking so long to load? <laughs> nice. <laughs> um uh okay, so there was uh, one other random thing that I wanted to check here. Uh Zahida, when you guys were talking in you had the meeting with Nelia and and Deliverus was there as well. You were in that um sort of big meeting hall on the sh on your ship on the horizons. Um the the big hall with like tapestries and stuff and you had pulled down a tapestry and sent it with Nelia to give, oh, yeah. To, yeah, to give, give to, the, to Fist. That really smart guy, yeah. Um, I wanted to check and make sure that you were thinking of the right person. <laughs> um, well, the guy who was, like, really superstitious, and he was, like, telling us all of these... Um, oh, man, I, I barely even remember that. I only <laughs> had that thought in passing, because I was like, maybe he can yeah, tell us more I about... Think... You might be thinking of, um, 
it was the it was the one dude who was like really scared when we mentioned the cartographers. Yes. So and that he like was... turned out to be like kind of a historian, but also a mm-hmm. little bit superstitious. Yeah. So that wasn't That's Fist. Um, Fist is they're they're both Pockin, um, the little quill people. Uh, Fist is the minister of merchants under Nilia. She, he's the other of Nilia's two like minister people that operate with the third shoulder. Um, the one you're thinking of there is Sorrel, who is on the commuters, uh, yeah. the advisors yeah, of the commuter like a politician in, in New Water Nest. Um, so, yeah. okay, okay, great. So that's the one you were thinking of. Um, yes. So we'll say that you had sent that off to him instead of. So just a little bit of retcon there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. I. Like gonna see it and like have a heart attack or something because he's so <laughs> or something. Of Who <laughs> knows? Um, great. Uh, okay, so one last thing we want to check through is um, I want to go through bonds and alignments real quick um, to remind you guys as much as everybody else. Um, so Sahida, why don't we go through um, yours? Go just go ahead and read your alignment and your bonds off. Okay. Uh, my alignment is a good, a good alignment, and the, the little tag there says that I um, try to defend those weaker than myself. Um, do you just want me to read the bonds that are all of them, or just the ones that are um, for with these characters? Today? Yeah, that's the, go ahead and read the ones with the, just these characters. I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, my bond with Mathos is he obviously thinks that my questions and others' questions are trying and that I am naive, but I am a warrior and the daughter of a hero and I will prove him wrong. Uh, and my bond with Fawit is wearing clothes of the faithful but prone to suggestions of violence, probably believes that the means justify the ends. I trust her to protect us even if her violence is perhaps more than I would care for. Beautiful. Um, okay, and then for wit this next one i have in here all right so my bond with sahita is uh a lost child is a target for wolves of many sorts she may not need my protection but i can work to spare her from the worst of the world and then my mathos one is not as well written his timely <laughs> distraction helped me avoid the worst i think i couldn't think of anything else to write yet so yeah i think i gotta figure that out i'm pretty sure we talked about <clears throat> this last time too um what we need there is um like an action part of that um so we want like a what you think of mathos um and then because of that i will act this way towards or around him so that's that's the part that we're missing there um so think about that um and then your alignment Oh, uh, lawful, and it is to deny mercy to a criminal or unbeliever. Mm-hmm. And Mathos. I really don't know why it's taking so long to load. Okay, great. Uh, so my alignment is unknown, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> and for its bond I have is that she's a violent individual, and I need to learn more about her. But also, I resolved one because she helped me out when I buried a dude that we talked into kind of killing himself, and I felt bad. <laughs> and, and then I protected for it, so I considered that done. Great. So, so then I would say that that uh, needs that should, to be that should be redone, re- yeah. resolved, and and we should write a new, a completely new bond there with for it. Then I would agreed. Say. Um. So think about that. Um, and then, good, this is Zahida, because I remember um, talking about last time that you needed a bond with Zahida because you were getting rid of, I believe, your one with Iridia. Yeah, and I had uh, a bunch of question marks there. Beautiful. <laughs> um, great. Um, okay, so just think about that. Um, yeah, and like I said, uh, the the best way to write a bond is to have a statement about, uh, you know how you feel about the character, and then, uh, from there to have something actionable in terms of, uh, because of the, of the way I feel, therefore I will do this, or I will behave like this, or I will think like this. 
Um, great. So before we get going, uh, just to go back over for again for you guys as much as for the audience, um, your objectives uh, that you were given by your two uh, quest givers, so to speak. Um, so Nilia had asked you um, one to uh, to assess the state of New Waterness, basically to see if the Gelwalkers had indeed left, um, and if it was safe or not to come back so they could start rebuilding. Um, and then um, sort of side side quest on that from Endelebris, the crafter, um, was to get basic tools um, f to help build your workshop or to help, you know, furnish your workshop um, as well as uh, like rarer materials um, that would go a long way to help getting you a good startup on that. So you... You have um, you had found a box of basic tools, um, or gathered together and put in a box of basic tools that is currently back on uh, the ship, uh, the light to linger, in the thousandth age. Um, you haven't gotten any like rare materials yet though. Um, and then as far as the state of New Water Nest, um, there are um, obviously some Gale Walkers here, um, but not not the amount of Gale Walkers that were here during that full invasion. Um, and you haven't uh, figured out um, really anything about that yet, um, why why that is or, or whatever. Um, and uh, part of the reason that you haven't found any rare materials or whatever is, is most of the places that you've checked through, um, if you remember, have been kind of picked over um, and seem like they've been looted and such. Um, and then the second part of this, your sort of shadow quest um, from Kint um, was to look for his contact, Brilliant um the Hoffman Vorin, um, who you found in his uh, safe house in the terrace markets over here, um, and he was dead. Um, you found him in his little um, uh, sort of safe room basement. Um and uh, but you were able so far to find um, the other part, which was a sending plate uh, that Kent asked you to retrieve for him um, that they would be able to set up on your ship. Um, so last we left off, loft, that's um, not the right word. Uh, you guys uh, had found the sending plate and Zahid had strapped it to her back and was trudging her way uh, back over here um, to head towards the ship. Um, and you also had your, uh, up here, your party of refugees, about 40 people or so, I believe we said, um, kind of headed up by uh, Nye Lorenthi, the barbelish uh, blacksmith was the, the uh, barbelish woman you had sort of talked to a little bit with that group. Um, as far as you had said, uh, or as far as you last told them, they were to work, uh, start making their way um, to escape and head over to New Water Nest uh, when they heard the explosion <laughs> that you were going to set off. Um, because you couldn't, uh, the ship Excuse me. The ship you have here is small and would not fit um, much more than the four of you. Um, not to mention uh, the the little bit of tools you have, um, and yeah, and so all all forty of those people. Um, then, as far as the other group of you, I should put a. Do I have a token? Gentish put him in here as well. Um, uh, you guys had s uh, gotten to set up the, uh, the explosive materials here that you were going to use as this distraction um, to try and pull the Gale Walkers over in your direction so you could get the other people to escape. Um, and uh, you did that all right. Um, uh, you had Gentis Gentish uh, kind of setting it up, but it didn't go uh, quite according to plan. So the last thing that happened was you guys had only gotten to about here 
um, which was not as far, nearly as far as you had intended to get um, before the uh, the payload exploded. You heard the main group of Gale Walkers up here um, starting to respond, and you also heard a group, uh, a patrol or something, um, over here in the Meadows District that was now heading in your direction. Um, so, um, let's take a quick scene here. Um, can I name this? I can name this, right? The president's name. Um, take a quick, beautiful, um, second to kind of paint the scene here. So you guys were working your way up, um, and... Uh, much sooner than, uh, so you guys being uh, Mathis and Fawit, um, were making your way up the, um, up the back up the cliffs here, and like I said, it's much sooner than you expected. This payload exploded um, in sort of this really awkward way. Um, as soon as it does, Gentis Gentish, um, both of them uh, sort of uh, start exclaiming a little bit. The the female animal head um, kind of starts yelling it. Um, the, the person head and they're arguing back and forth um, and uh, one of the barrels from the explosion um, comes hurtling through the sky um, and basically explodes right in the middle of you um, and uh, uh, separates the two of you from Gentis Gentish. So they um, in this little blast kind of get um uh, put on the other side of a wall that, that collapses and um, there's generally like chaos that's going along here and you can hear the the horns and, and the shouts of the, the Gale Walkers um, and you can um, see torches and stuff um, moving over here. Uh, so that is what is going on for you. Um, Get to Gentish has the the boots, right? Gentis Gentish is the the cowboy pirate with the <laughs> with the boots. Yes. Boots, okay. Um, so Zahida, you uh, you are trudging um, back along. As soon as you start getting over to this area with the uh, the this sort of teal napalm streak, this magical napalm that you guys had shot with your ship um, back during the invasion. Um, some of that's still kind of burning and smoldering and, and whatever. Just as you're sort of getting through that area, ahead of you, um, you start to hear a bit of a commotion. Um, and it is some uh, shouts and um, uh, things that don't necessarily sound like uh, the kind of angry shouts you would expect from uh, Kurtanjul. Gale walkers and stuff like that, um, and you quickly realize that it is not, in fact, any of that, that it is um, the refugees, and realize that, for whatever reason, they are already um, kind of in this area. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, we probably did take a while, and they probably got nervous, so that, that makes total sense to me. Um, refugees is it's one G and two E's, right? Did I spell that yes. right? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, and uh, and you hear them uh, start to shout and uh, sort of making making scared noises and things like that. Um, and also hear um, the distinct um, alien but recognizable sounds of some form of wild beast. Oh. For um, so, Zahida, okay. what do you do? Um, okay. What do I know about this scrying stone, or this sending stone? Um, in terms of sending table. How, how it works, or... I mean, you, uh, you, right now you know that it is big and that it is heavy, and that somehow yes. uh, between the plate and the little, like, pen thing that you found, uh, between those two things, somehow it communicates... Uh, very quickly over long distances. But that's about it. Okay. All right. Here's what I want to do. Um, uh, firstly, 
I would like to... We armed... Or they maybe armed themselves. Didn't some of the refugees have... Some of them had weapons, right? Is that... Um, I think... Um, I don't know that y you... Because you guys were looking for materials to help blow up maybe, maybe, the explosions. Maybe, yeah, that might I don't be know what that I'm thinking of. There was no, there was no concerted effort on your part, at least, to arm the refugees. Okay. Um, keep in mind My that goal. they had also been stuck in that basement for a week or two right. with no yeah. food and water, so most of them were pretty, pretty haggard looking. Okay. All right. My first goal is to uh, make my way to the refugees. Okay. Um, my second and third goals are to ask them if any of them know how this thing works. And if not, um, I'm going to do my best to protect them while they uh, attempt to uh, escape. Okay. Um, that, is, that is that's what I'd like to. So how? Uh, what are you? What are you doing? Because uh, they're they're still a, a little ways off, and you've got this giant thing strapped to your, strapped to your back. Um, how? What are you doing to to get over there? Hearing noises over, over here, like in the big crater. No, no. Here's no, from the... the from the wildlife. Oh, um, you you hear the wildlife like among among the uh noise of the. Oh, okay. Well, then my I would probably just keep heading east onto the road, because that's probably the path of least resistance is okay. the, the road, and then I'll just take the road up north. Great. Um, so I think especially to do that quickly, um, I would like a roll of some kind from you. Um, so I think that's going to be a defy danger. Um, either I could hear a pitch for for strength or maybe constitution, uh, depending upon what you're, how you're, how exactly you're, you're doing that. Let me just look through here. Um, I would say, um, because I'm, because I'm already carrying this heavy ass thing and I'm wanting to go faster. That's less enduring and more powering through. Mm. I think. I think uh, yeah, I buy that. So, uh, defy danger or strength. Okay, let me make sure that I'm doing this all correctly again. <laughs> um, I have it set on strength. Since I'm just doing it, no add-ons. It's just a plus zero. A nine. Um, okay, you stumble, hesitate, or flinch. The GM will offer you a worse outcome, hard bargain, or ugly choice. Um, so this, I think, is relatively simple. Um, as you start trucking it, um, just as, as hard as your legs will carry, um, you start to hear the, the shouts get more and more um, desperate. So, uh, and you haven't quite made it there yet. So you're, um, and you're, I mean, the muscles in your legs at this point are burning because you've, for one, you spent a couple hours trudging a cart um, all the way from the Crafters Row over to the Terrace Markets um, with all those uh, explosive materials. And then you started trudging back with this giant plate on your back. So your your leg muscles are just, like, ready to murder you at this point. Um, uh, so you can, you can either uh, keep running with with this thing on your back um, or you can get there more quickly if if you drop it um yeah i mean i'm definitely gonna i mean i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm gonna try and you know set it down uh <laughs> wait this thing's i mean this thing's pretty isn't it didn't you describe it like a big thing of like granite or something it's i mean isn't it's it, hard to tell exactly it's so what it's heavy. made of but yeah it's it's like some kind of stone or metal or, or something like that okay so it's sturdy ish it's not fragile yeah Okay, I I set it down somewhere where I am not gonna miss it, like I like I'll be able to see it again. It's because it's like the middle of the night, right? Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's a good point. Um, at this point, um, I would say it's like very early, like uh, like three or four ish. Like you can just barely start to see some amount of uh kind of color coming on the edges okay. of the horizon. I definitely put it in a place, you know, that's easily easy for me to, to see. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna set it down and try and somewhere down like 
I don't know, like right, like in here somewhere, I guess. There's mm -hmm. like a, some some buildings and some other things here. I like set it up against a a, a wall and like put some put some like I don't know, like barrels or or like boxes around the edge of it so it doesn't you know roll away or something. Yeah, here's um, here's my here's my proposition here. Um, I think this sounds like a defy danger intelligence. Um, okay. that you're trying well, to, great, but... I mean, you're, you're acting despite an imminent threat, <laughs> okay. uh, and trying to do it with quick thinking. So you're trying sure. to find a good solid spot that you can find this later, um, so on and so forth. Um, uh, yeah, let me, <laughs> my, my intelligence is a zero, so this isn't, uh, this isn't great. Uh, six. Beautiful. I just set it on the fucking road, I guess. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Here's, here's what happens with this. Uh, so mark that XP. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Let me make a note of this. Christ. Um, I mean, even though he said it was important, this thing is definitely less important to me than the people, so... Yeah, and Sorry, I think kid. I think in the heat of that moment, you were like, oh yeah, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down uh, in this spot. Um, and I'm definitely, for sure, 100% gonna remember exactly where this is when I come back to find it, and then you run off. <laughs> Great. Awesome. <laughs> um, and as you... Um, as you get up there, you, you round the corner, um, and you see, um, uh, I, this is going to be another sort of compounding of your, uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but <laughs> of your I move my failed token? role. Yeah, go ahead and move yourself up there. Um, okay. you, you round the corner and, um, as you do, you're, you're hearing more and more of these, you know, like outright screams at this point. Um, you round the corner and you see a... Um, you, have you seen one of these before? Yes, you have seen one of these before, um, because, um, Kinnerenth, uh, the sort of barblish that's kind of been hanging around with you guys for a while, um, has a Tilbarash, um, named Bridge. Um, but a Tilbarash is a l very large, um, so like lion tiger sized, um, cat-like right. creature with, um, of course it is. Plates um, kind of uh, on its head and back. Um, and so as you round the corner, you see one of these things leap out um, and and uh, just tear someone like in half. Um, and the people uh, around uh, just, just start screaming. Is it just one? Uh, the one that you, what you see as you round the corner, yeah, so far is just one, but you can see, okay. um, it looks like th they may have been sort of, um, been, uh, kind of like hunted by these things for a little bit, because you can see some of them, uh, have kind of crude weapons out, um, trying to make some of them are, are bloody, you know, you can see one guy who's like trying to struggle along, like missing an arm or something, um, uh, and, uh, so you see one of them, uh, jump out and, and just tear this, uh, tear this person up. Uh, they are for sure gone. Um, but now you've got a Tilbarash on the ground, uh, mauling this, this guy, um, and this, uh, crowd of people. What do you do? I mean, I fucking, I mean, I fucking charge in. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I going to do? <laughs> I uh, fucking charge in shield and spear out and I'm I'm going for the the parts that don't look like plates. Great. Um so you have don't you have a something or other about like attacking recklessly or something like that? Mercilessly. Mercilessly. Um so I think this yep. fits the bill. Uh great, so that's uh hack and slash. Okay. And that just uh, the merciless thing affects your damage, right? Yes. Okay. What's that? Can you pop that in the chat or something? Just we have the text on that. When you fight without holding anything back. Okay, great. All right, let's see that hex slash. Twelve. Beautiful. 
Um, deal your damage to the enemy and avoid their attack at your option. You may choose to do plus 1d6 damage, but expose yourself to the enemy's attack. Uh, would you like to take that option? Absolutely. Beautiful. Um, okay, so you get your damage, uh, which is yeah, what's your my... base damage? Uh, it's a d10, but I'm. let me look at my your weapon, weapon here real quick. Yeah. Uh, let me click this and see if it works. I feel like every time I do this, it doesn't work. But... <laughs> oh, okay, it does okay. work. Um, okay, so then you get an extra 1d4 and an extra yep. 1d6. D4 and a D6. Wow, that is a ton of damage. <laughs> Those are beautiful rolls. <laughs> um, I mean, you gotta. Sometimes you gotta succeed. Somewhere. Sometimes you gotta. You gotta <laughs> do it. Um, okay. All right. Let me get my. I know this is terrible. Let me get my calculator out just so I don't have to flail around pretending I know how to do math in my head. Um, and two of that is piercing, right? Okay. Beautiful. Um, okay. So, uh, you're, you're aiming at some, some soft spaces here. Yeah, like, I don't, like it's, you said it was on its head and its back. I'm probably aiming for, like, yeah, the neck like, or, mm -hmm. like... Uh, if I can, you know, get the get the side of the stomach in any way, probably one of those yeah. areas. So, um, uh, you you run in. Um, I don't want to tell your character what you're doing, but I'm imagining. Zikita, oh, I'm definitely like, leaping, screaming, and <laughs> fucking leaping in. <laughs> like a fucking. I don't. Anytime you see like you know those ads of like video game warriors and they're like midair with their spear up and shit that's what she's doing um so you 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 leap in there um with your little uh it's like a kind of a short spear type thing with a big yeah. blade um and you um are in the zone you find just the exact right spot between two plates on its neck and you feel that blade just slip right in there um and uh, and you you immediately just sort of knowing your battle sense you you know right away that you feel this thing go completely limp. Um, okay. Uh, but taking that extra damage um, as you're doing that, um, you uh, so focused on this this one that you don't realize that as um, as you do that another one. Uh, comes leaping out from a uh, sort of a burnt out building in the side um, and gets a good chunk out of you. Um, where's my, where's my dice here? Um, a mostly good chunk out of you. Um, so you, how much armor do you have? Uh, Three plus one, uh, or plus two magical attacks, which probably doesn't matter in this part. Okay. But um, so you are going to take uh, two damage um, as okay. this one sort of comes leaving out and and uh, maybe sort of like misjudges its jump a little bit, but it gets a claw um, sort of a cl across your arm um, and uh, lands on the ground um, and then. Uh, seeing that it only gets sort of a piece of you out, um, leaps back, um, out of sight behind some kind of building, um, or some some rubble. Uh, what do you do? Would like to. Okay, do I see any others in my immediate? Like, just you know, while I'm standing here in amongst this group of refugees do i see any other uh or hear just, any other uh right right out from yeah uh, no you do not okay. at that moment um okay i will I'm going to um okay 
Uh, do I know anything about these creatures? Um, do I know, like, anything about their, uh, the way they attack, their, if they have any sort of tactics, anything like that? Uh, they like tire, tigers and lions? Let's, uh, let's, let's find out. Um, roll a spout lore for me. <laughs> I think this is, like, the first time we've done this. <laughs> Nope, I don't know shit. <laughs> okay, great. I'm just gonna mark that off there. Mark, okay, mark that XP. Since I, since I know nothing. Um. So you, uh, so you sit there and and take half a second to try and consider what's going on. Um. And and as you do that, you hear, um, in the back of the group, um, because uh, you're sort of at the front of the the sort of the, in the direction the refugees are heading uh, south here. Right. Um, and you come up from the south, um, and you hear from the back um, another just just horrible uh, scream, um, uh, as what you can assume is someone else getting mauled. Um, uh, in the um, yeah, in the back of the group. Um, so as as you've taken that like half second to to try and stop and and think if you remember anything about this um it's that kind of startled you out of your your thoughts okay i'm going to um can i see the one in the back of the group uh i think you're it's too dark and you're too far away um from okay. the back of the group right and there's one like pretty close to me even though he it like jumped into a building though right as far as you know okay I would like to, uh, okay, all right, I'm going to, um, defend, I think. Okay. Um, let me read this real quick and see if it's actually what I'm, because if I can't see that, I was going to try, I'm your opponent, so that they're forced to attack me, um, but if I can't see them, I don't know that that actually works. Um, it's something you could, I mean... That's something you could try. What's the what's the text it's, on that? It says, when you engage an enemy in melee combat, they are forced to acknowledge you. When an enemy you are engaged with makes a move against anyone other than you, roll strength. Hmm. I yeah. I don't know that these are are engaged per se. Right. Um. Because um, these okay, are so, so far have been in and out. I am going to um defend then stand in defense of these people so that when they uh, when the when one of these fuckers tries to come back out and attack somebody, I can do something about it. Okay, how are, how are you doing that with the group? Um, okay. Uh, how many people are there now? There were forty. There were forty. Um, I'd say probably at this point there's somewhere in the area of uh alive at least, um, or mostly alive. Um, you're probably down to about thirty thirty five. Um. All right, the uh the way that I'm imagining this, there's like a building right here. That these guys are like right next to. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to s and wherever the well, I guess I'm like trying. I'm just kind of imagining this the way that I'm. I'm trying to stand between the group and the one that I definitely the direction of the one that I definitely saw the other one like go off into. Like okay. whatever building that was, I am definitely going to stand between those two and I like shout out like get behind me or something so that okay people know that they can whatever that they can get some sort of protection at least yeah um I think there's there's one there's one more piece of this here that I think I think we need in order to um cuz at this point you know uh, some of them see you um and uh but some a, a lot of them are are starting to panic and so i think there needs to be something um to to keep that as they start um panicking you can see some of them start to like either actually break off and run or make like they're about to break off and run um uh so it's it's quickly starting to um devolve into uh some kind of chaos here. Okay, I... <sighs> okay. I... 
um, shout out, um, are these, are these things, like, is, like, what is south of the, what, is the Spine Road safe? Like, what, what is actually south of this town? Um, like, is it just forest? Is there a big, like, road? Like, what? Yeah, you, as far as you know, you, when you kind of appeared, um, in Alarden, um, it was somewhere along this road to New Water Nest, um, and from that bit of the end of it, you remember, anyway, it's, um, it's it's a road through, you know, foresty, um, kind of areas and and whatever. Okay, I. I mean, these people were on board to head south to New Water Nest, anyways. So that is the. That is what I'm going to try and remind them of by yelling out and being like uh you know this way this way and like pointing towards the the road heading south and and saying something like I will defend you keep moving okay um that sounds like a defy danger charisma great another stat that's <laughs> Charisma. Making those dice work. A nine. Great. Um, stumble, hesitate, or flinch. Um, yeah. So, I think I think what happens here is you you are able to. Uh, get some semblance of of control. Um, with these, you're you're kind of shouting out, and uh, I mean, they did just watch me murder this thing. They so. did. They did just watch you murder them. So, so I think what happens is, um, you you get them um sort of to to start moving along this 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 road here down. Um, you get them into kind of what you um think is uh along some kind of a. a, a building wall um, that seems uh, safer. You're kind of corralling them in. Um, and uh, you you feel like you're starting to, to sort of, you know... Uh, Do you want me to roll my defend, too? Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. That's a good... That's a good call. We can... <laughs> Great. Um, mark that of XP... Course. Um, so, and you, yeah, so you're doing this and you've got your shield out. You're trying to sort of keep an eye, um, in, in as many directions as you can. Um, and you, you kind of corral this group down to here. Um, and, uh, like I said, you're sort of running, you've got them sort of close in along these walls. I mean, there's, there's some of these people in this group that are trying to put on brave faces. Like I said, there's, you know, a lot of these people are, are, are crafts people, um, and, and you see them like, uh, like Nyla Renthi is there, um, and she's got like a, uh, some kind of big, uh, like crafting hammer type thing. Um, and there's, there's a few others that are in that kind of mode where you can see them trying to, to do what they can to, to help defend. Um, some of them are, are, are bloody and, and you can see other people in this group that are sort of more the, the merchant types that are just like blubbering idiots at this point. Um. So you're guiding them in along this wall um, and uh, trying to keep your shield up and keep your eyes out. Um, and uh, just as you sort of turn uh, back south uh, to try and keep them moving along, um, you catch out of the corner of your eye um, up from the, the top of this wall, uh, of this building, this like half collapsed wall. Um, uh, you just catch out of the corner of your eye as one of these Tilbarash um, leaps off the top of the wall um, right at you and uh, takes you straight to the ground. Um, uh, so you um, are going to take four damage. Um, and you're now... Is that? Uh, that's, that's accounting for your armor. Okay. Um, 
and you're now on the ground underneath of one of these things. Um, and people are screaming. <laughs> uh, for Witten Mathos. Um, so you've just had this thing explode. Um, a building half collapsed between you and Gentis Gentish. You hear these horns. Um, and uh, you, the two of you are over here. Um, uh, and I think at this point you can also hear the faint sounds of... Uh, refugees screaming um, and things off to the east. Uh, what do the two of you do? I think it's time to run. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, where uh, where are you running? Uh, I would think Mathos is going to take the shortest path to get back to the ship. So, like, straight up through here. Okay. Um, and you guys, I mean, you guys are, so you, you've you been basically visually uh, cut off from Gentis Gentish, Gentish, Gentish at this point. Um, uh, so just want to make sure you're sort of aware of, of that part of the situation I mean, as well. He's got to know he's he's got to run, right? I don't have to tell him that. I mean, he, he doesn't you know what they say about assumptions. <laughs> I'm going to assume because I'm saving my own ass. Okay. Peace. Um. Great. Uh, and and so this is where the main body of the 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 enemy is, right? Correct. Coming from Fortitude's Tower. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, that, as far as you can tell, is some kind of little like patrol or scout party or something that you you could tell was uh, uh moving around there. Hmm. So if, God damn it. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that they're going to the explosion too, but that kind of puts Gintis in the way. Um. Do keep in mind that the reason that the two of or the the two two of one of you got separated was because one of the barrels sort of flew off and exploded up here as well. Yeah, I'm still gonna run. Okay. That's my that's my best course of action for now. Um, for wait, what is your plan of action here? Um, so my thing is, uh, particularly going off bonds. I think I would realize that the, you know, those faint screams are coming from the direction that Zahida went. So I think I would go that way. Okay. So, Mathis, you're running back to the ship. Um, so let's put you sort of like here-ish, and uh, for what you're going to run over in that direction, and both of you are just um, piecing out from from Gantis Gentis here. Uh, in our uh, defense, I don't think we have that big of a loyalty to him. Uh, sure. I mean, you, that's... that's uh, yeah. We just met him. Yeah, isn't that like his mentor? What's that? Isn't that uh, AJ's mentor? No, that's um, that's Kinnerenth, the barber. Oh, it's Kinnerenth. Yeah, you're um, right. This guy, a uh, quick overview of your history with this guy is, um, you, I, you, I don't know that you've really met him, uh, them, uh, face to face, really. Um, they, the first time, um. Whoever was here when you, I think it was the two of you were here, um, when you first got to Third Shoulder and when the Ebon Armada was attacking, um, Gantis Gentis' ship was here to help sort of run them off. Um, and then they also helped uh, when you had the Horizons here and were napalming. And he the like Gale totally Walker helped invasion. us save um, these people. They, they were here and involved with that uh, kind of big thing as well. Just to give some background. I I mean, and I'm not saying that that has to. You you make the decisions that you're you're making. I um, just want to make sure that I'm clear on what's going on. I'm um, sticking with mine. Great. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um. So. 
uh, I would like each of you, um, if you're just just booking it, um, to make um, a defy danger, uh, either um, dex or, or strength, depending upon how you see yourself, um, or maybe constitution. Uh, great. Um, okay. Um, all right, Mathis, let's start with you. So you're heading up this way. Um, you get into, uh, this sort of section that's this burnt out, um, napalm area. Um, in my head, this is, um, you know how they have those, like, when they're fighting forest fires, they like clear that whole section, um, like a swath between um, sections of trees, so that the fire can't like jump across it, and it's just like this huge ribbon of of completely um, cut down territory. That's that's kind of what I'm imagining this. Like any of the buildings, sort of like fall off uh, at the edge of this and this whole thing is sort of like this burnt out sort of field. Um, so as as you um, start running over here, um, I'm going to pull this token off because you don't know where he is anywhere. Or they are. Um, uh, as you start running across, um, once you sort of break out into the, the open here, um you you can see um at least uh what you can see is on the edge um up in the meadows district here you can see two um Kratanjul, uh that see you and start running after you yeah. um uh and just a reminder uh of what these Cortangel are these these things are 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 big. Um, they're basically like uh, dinosaur lizard centaurs. Um, so human half up top and like a raptor dinosaur body or something um, on the lower half. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's that's what you see. You can see two of them notice you um, and start. Uh, running after you, um, and you can quickly see that these things are fast. What do you do? Smoke bomb! <laughs> okay, what does that do? I throw and... it at them, and it's going to blind them. Um, okay. Uh, when you have time and equipment, you can create a vial of blah, blah, blah. Um, when you throw the vial upon a hard surface, roll plus dex. You rolled a 10. On a hit, a cloud of smoke bursts forth, briefly blinding and causing a coughing fit in anyone caught in the cloud except you. Um, so is that like you're, the two of these are like getting close, um, close enough that you can throw this sort of at their feet or whatever? Yeah, I'm just going to make sure it's between me and them. I don't care if they're inside of it. Mm -hmm. I just want it to obscure my vision or their vision of me. Right, right, right. Um, so then, okay, and then, so you throw that at them. Um, it hits, um, and uh, I think with the 10, this this hits right at their feet, and, and they uh, immediately start, start choking. I think one of them... Um, uh, is is running so hard um, at you that it it gets caught in this and sort of like bowls over um, forward, um, and then and then so you you just then keep 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 running. Uh, except I'm gonna turn the other way and go this way with Foyet now. Okay. Um. So you're 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 juking him out there. Yep. And then um, I'm gonna look at Foyet and I'm like, don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Uh so so back to Fawit. I think having you roll the ten, I think you're you're probably further ahead of of where Mathis is. So you 
uh, you're running over here, and you uh, you see Fawit, um, sort of like leap over, uh, does like a sick parkour thing where she parkour. like half runs up a wall <laughs> and jumps over a uh, something or other, um, and so you see her just sort of like just disappear. Um, I'm gonna fl- I'm gonna take the same exact path. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to look. I just want to do it. <laughs> okay. Let's give me a defy danger dex. <laughs> I say it's it's just all pointless front flips and just. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna try. I'm literally gonna try to imitate everything that she's doing. Oh my oh, god! Hey. <laughs> okay, um. So... This is fucking horseshit. Why do I, wanna, I have I wanna, all the literally? Fights? I want to literally do it exactly the same way that Fuit did it. So Fuit, you you had just sort of like jumped up and and uh, you know flipped or whatever and and you like land uh down on the ground um and uh uh you you know you're trying to sort of you take a second to figure out what you can see um and then as you do that you see uh well you probably feel because it's behind you um and you're good at sensing things mathos come like doing a double front flip um hits the ground <laughs> rolls forward at right next to you and just like keeps on running ahead of you <laughs> and i as i land i say parkour <laughs> and take off um I, I think she genuinely would be impressed <laughs> i think you should be <laughs> um great uh so the two of you the two of you um are running over um oh sorry if you can hear that um that's the sound of you guys running um and so you the two the two of you come and uh sort of have to uh get up um on this the run up the side of like the side of a building that's half collapsed here um and basically end up here and you're um for wit you can you can, I think, start to sense because this is just your thing. Um, <laughs> sort of start to sense that uh, that there are, you know, that there are things prowling around here. Um, you know, as a fellow predator of the darkness, um, you can you can feel that some fellows are about, um, and uh, the two of you sort of come up on this. The, the top of this wall, and you can see um, basically a, uh, sort of down and across a little bit. You see this group of refugees. You see Fawit, uh, sorry, Zahida on the ground with uh, one of these on top of her um, going to town. Uh, what do the two of you do? I mean, I have a running thing of jumping off and killing things when I land. You, so... do, you do have that thing. That's what I'm going to do. All right. And I think I'm kind of in the moment, and I'm literally just gonna do the same exact thing as for it, because it's working. I want it to fail, but if it works, it works. Um. So is... All right. So go Jesus ahead and. Uh. Great. So you and then do you get extra damage from like a surprise attack or or something like that for it? What is that thing you do? Oh wait. He can't be surprised. Misericord, when you take the time... Well, I didn't take time to carefully aim. Okay. Because Misericord lets me deal maximum damage. Okay. Um... I got full health. Fuck it. I'll do the 1d6 too. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, Holy so deep. that's 10, 16 with two piercing. Um, okay. And then, Mathis, you're doing uh, the same. Yeah. Except probably not as well. Well, well. Well, even better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to expose myself because I don't know if there's that many of them. 
We have to fail more rolls. That's how we level up. Uh, don't worry. I'm doing all the failing, you guys. I've done um, enough failing. I think I've marked three XP tonight. So that's your that's your extra D6. Uh, can you roll your damage? Um, maybe. There should, there should be a just a roll your... If you just click on your class damage. Open. That'll do. Great. So that's... Um, okay, so... Uh, between, um, they just fucking crush me between this fucking dead. Between the two of you, you kill this thing. Um, so I'll, I'll give I'll give you the uh, <laughs> the honor of narrating this beautiful maneuver here. <laughs> so for what for what what is it that you do? Um, because your 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 blow doesn't kill it outright, but Mathis finishes it off. Um. I want to say, like, maybe I don't land straight on top of it, but uh, just, like, I sink both of the hand axes, like, into its spine. Right between the plates. <laughs> and um, then, Mathos, if you would like to narrate your finish. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so, I it's, I think Fluit was just a couple steps ahead, so she went down first. Sure. And then I was moving a little faster, so okay. I jumped over her as she landed. <laughs> and I'm going to pull the whole Assassin's Creed hidden blade right into the back of the, the, the head, severing the spine sort of thing. Nice. Um, and uh, it rolls... Uh... Okay, so... Boost yourself to the enemy's attack. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, so for wit, you get in there and you. Okay. Um, so, for wit, you get in there sort of uh, on on the side and you sink, sink both of your axes into it. Um, and as you basically what happens is as the two of you sort of come in and, and hit it um sort of burying things into the into the spine um it sort of like spasms a little bit um and gets a claw uh at you mathos um what's your armor uh not one, which is what it says it is. It's not one. I wouldn't think so. What kind of armor do you have? Didn't you? I wasn't. But didn't you have it like broken for a while? And then and you then got you it fixed. It. Yeah, it's repaired. Um. So one. I have leather armor. Yeah, that sounds like one to me. Oh, okay. So one. Um. Okay. So you are gonna take five damage. Um. All told. Um. As it gets a. a sort of a spasm slash at you um and then it kind of collapses over uh uh sort of f into for wit basically how much armor do you have one um okay um it kind of collapses over onto you and and sort of smashes you up against uh a, a, a piece of rubble um and you take eight damage <laughs> This, I mean, this thing's big and heavy, man. I mean, if you think of how heavy, like a like a tiger <laughs> with plates on it, um, king armored tiger. Armored tiger. Here's the real question: Does it have antlers? It does not have antlers. Damn. Um, Disappointing, Dan. But it does. Um, um, it does have this like they have like um patterns of like bioluminescence in their in their skin um so i guess one of the cool things that you when you when you kill it you can see the the, the bioluminescence like kind of fade um or maybe that's not cool maybe that's horrible um and i'm a terrible person for saying that but anyway um um so uh so that is what happens um zahida you have gotten this thing uh, <laughs> off of you um, and onto Fawit. 
uh, for wit, you're kind of partially trapped ish under the body of this thing. Um, and, uh, the, the group of refugees, um, are, uh, more or less under control now from, from, from Zahida's help. Um, uh, do you guys have anything you're communicating to each other quickly here before as yeah, in this immediate yeah, immediately moment? yeah immediately while I try to pull I probably while I'm trying to pull this thing off of Fawit, I say there's another there's at least one more no uh, at least three then because I saw two more back in the meadows no 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 they're not they're not gale walkers they're they're like tigers or whatever yeah I know there's two more back in the meadows oh <laughs> different things but yeah but yeah <laughs> close enough. Not human ish. I say there's at least one more of these things. Um I put the plate or I dropped the plate around here somewhere in this this general vicinity. We need to get these people moving. Yeah, they they need to run and so do we but in different directions. They're probably going to follow us because they're going to see us going towards the boat. These people are kind of covered and can go south. Um, and do we really care about the plate? Because I don't. Yeah, I mean, we, we were going to. I mean, we. I mean, it's basically a, a fucking phone. What's a phone? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> shut the fuck up. Good, good role Speaking of phone, there. I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> um, uh, Zahida, you also noticed that Gantis Gent is just not with them. Um, uh, I do notice that, don't I? Uh, that is a thing you notice. I don't know how you feel about it, but that's just just saying it to say it. Um, so, um, as you guys are, are sort of in, in this mode where you quickly are trying to get Fawit out from under this uh, dead tiger plated armored tiger thing. Um, you uh, you can hear um, the uh, the quick stomping of um, of these things. Uh, you can you can hear uh, and maybe see at least um, a couple of them uh, heading across the. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely take them. Napalm. What's the here. What's the uh, the woman's name again? Um, her Who's name like is kind of Nyla Renthe. Nyla Renthe. Okay, I turn to her as I fucking toss this dead uh, tiger to the side. And I'm like, you and your people need to move south now. The Gelwalkers are going to be coming. Move. Um, and she nods to you and starts... Um, yelling at her people um she's got two two of her hands on this uh hammer and she's using her other two arms to wave at people and and start shouting um and they are going to start heading um south um what are the rest of you doing i i take a moment to look for the plate okay um uh... What is that going to be? That's going to be a defy danger. Um, I'm willing to hear pitches. I'm leaning towards intelligence. Let me look I mean, at that's the... what makes sense to me. Let me look at the things here. Quick thinking with mental fortitude. Social grade. No, none of that makes any fucking sense. <laughs> Social grace? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sing it to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably and in, probably intelligence. Let me change this thing back. Um are uh, uh either of you helping? I mean I feel like she should know where she dropped it, right? Yeah, but incorrect. She... <laughs> yeah, I mean you would think, but no, that the answer is definitely no. Like we uh, said, like I said, I say, help me that... look for this fucking thing. <laughs> like I said when she rolled that six, she Absolutely, one hundred percent will remember where she put it. When she put it down. Yeah. <laughs> are are these I mean, like broken buildings that we're on here? Um, they're, they're more slightly more whole than some of the other buildings in the area, but they're not great. I'm getting up to the top of the highest point. Okay. And I'll aid her. Okay. 
Uh, so Mathos, give me a uh, Defy Danger Dex to do that. Um, beautiful. And then Zahida, give me that Defy Danger Int. Um, and the aid. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see what happens here. Um, so that brings it up to a nine. Which is... Um, which still doesn't take it to a full success, but... Um, okay, so Mathos, so you are just fine able to um, bound up the side of, of one of these buildings to get up on top as high as you can. Um, are you, you're looking to... What, what, are you, what is your uh, intent in getting up here? I was going to get up here to see if I could maybe see it sitting somewhere and also keep an eye on where these things are and how fast they're coming. Okay, great. Perfect. Um, so you are up there. Um, so the two of you down on the ground, um, great. Okay. Uh, so here's what happens. So the two of you down on the ground um, are looking around trying to, to find this thing. Um, and uh, you uh, come to, quickly come to the, to the conclusion that this is going to take you longer than a few moments to find. Um, so you can either keep looking um, or uh, you can n not. Um, Keep looking and take. Basically, you can keep looking and take the time to do that. Um, uh, so, Mathos, what you are up here, or what you see when you are up here, is a is a couple things. So, one, you randomly sort of notice as you're up here um, that there uh, just happens to be, um, I mean, among the things that you sort of have regularly seen around in this area, is um, you know you, you see bodies and stuff. Um, especially in the the napalm area, um, but what you what you're able to see here randomly, um, sort of on the roof, but like down a level, is you see the dead body of one of these Cortanjul, um, so these lizard centaur things. Um, but what you notice, especially having just seen a couple uh, of the uh, the ones that were chasing you, is this one um, has. Uh, this big sort of white um, uh, symbol that looks kind of vaguely sun-like um, on, like, painted big on its uh, bare chest. Um, and that was not a thing that you saw um, of those others that was was running at you. Um, so that's that's, like, a thing that you kind of randomly notice as you're up here, like, huh, that's weird. Um... And uh, so then you can see uh, these. Uh, this group is is coming in um, and starting to get close. Um, and then you also see uh, of that group, um, there is one of them uh, that runs off in this direction. Um, and kind of disappears into here. Um, so it's it's in there somewhere, heading. Uh, uh, you can see it sort of run off to the south uh, as these ones are coming in um, uh, easterly towards you. Um, you can uh, you can see um, uh, four of them. Um, mm, shit, and, guys, we don't have a lot of time. And then you can see, um, being up here, you can definitely see uh, a, f uh, a fair amount of, of kind of commotion and stuff um, up here. Um, most of the, the majority of the, the, the gill walkers up there haven't, um, are, are, are just kind of there. Um, but you do see... Um, uh, a 
fairly sizable group of them uh, that are sort of down moving through this area towards the explosion. They're sort of fanned out um, looking. Yeah, that's fine. That's where they need to be. Um, and then you rolled a 10, right? Um, yeah, that's, that's all you see. Um, so what do you do? You're the one that has all this information. I'm going to tell him that we have very little time. There's a group coming from the meadows to our west. And then I'm going to jump down and run down here and try to cut this one off. Okay. Oh, so you're just running off by yourself? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, you're doing that. Um, so, uh, for Wit and Zahida, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I already know that we're going to get into a fight. There's no, I mean, there's nothing, and it wouldn't matter anyways, because even if I did find a plate immediately and stick it on my back, we would still have to fight them. So I continue to look for the plate. Okay. Because I know it's here, and... I know that we're going to have to fight these things anyways, and if we move off to the east, they might continue, I mean, who fucking knows, they might continue south and try to, you know, go for the civilians or something, so, fuck that, I stay here and continue to look, because I I know that we're going to have to fight them, mm -hmm. we can't, there's, we can't get out of fighting these ones, so, I keep looking. Okay. Um... I think. Are, I mean, are you so to to help Fawit here? Are you are you commun you're communicating that or? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I I think I say that my thought process aloud. Great. I say there's no way we are gonna get out of a, a fight with these things. We have to kill these this small group that's coming towards us. It's not that small. It's you only four the of them. You don't know that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm... I'm gonna say, yeah, uh, you look. And then I'm going to sort of get ready for this group to come around to You're us. You're gonna line up your shot? <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna stay out of the light. Okay. Which means I'm hidden in shadows and nothing can detect me by any normal means until I reveal myself. Great. Um, good clarification. Um, so, uh, yeah, so as you do that, um, I guess this probably would have been a fun thing to say while Mathis was up on the building because it would have been a cool view. Um, but you can start to see um, some more um, color start to, to break. Um, onto the horizon it's um um does the sunset happen like right away or does the sky just start to get brighter first before a sunset i mean around like like four or five in the morning it would be like the sky the sky would start to be like blue and then it would and then okay go to the sunset yeah great so it's the sky is starting to get blue <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so it's it's starting to get lighter um as uh as this is happening um uh yeah and remembering the the for for no purpose of saying this whatsoever probably um sort of to the north of you this thing was sort of rested up um on the side of of a sort of a mountain range basically so there's mountains um up above you to the north um and and west a little bit as well um great so um, so, uh, for wit, you are, um, we'll say, are you sort of in like a building or in the shadows here yeah. somewhere, um, yeah. sort of forward a little bit. Um, the refugees have started to move off to South. Um, Zahida is in here looking around. Um, and, uh, for wit, as you are here, um, you get... Um, four of these uh, that you can see or sort of know that are there. 
um, start to run um, in through here. You, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. You're you're kind of hiding right now. Um, so th uh, the f the first one of these four um, starts to run past your hiding spot, and you can see it eye uh, Zahida. What do you do? Mm. I think I'm going to take my time to carefully aim. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. So are you you're taking the the first one out here of the group, or um, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna stop the whole group. Okay. <clears throat> Um, all right, so you do that. Uh, does that still require a hack and slash? It doesn't say. It just says when you take the time to carefully aim an attack against a defenseless or unaware creature, your damage is maximized. Okay. Um, let me see what hack and slash says. I think this might be... Yeah, I mean, I, fictionally, I think I think this is if you're if you're taking your time to surprise us, I think I think this is a, a straight up um, thing. So your damage is what total? Um, let me scroll up here. So it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 18 18 dang that's so much damage how do you have that damage how what's what's uh well, I'm just out of curiosity I, I think i added that up right okay so my 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 class damage is a d8 okay oh no so it'd only be 14 14 okay so your class damage is d8 um, and then uh, Predator, Be Like Water, gives lets me add my dexterity to my damage rolls. Okay. And then I get plus one damage from the unblemished hand axes. Okay. So it's 14. Beautiful. Um, great. That's um, <clears throat> a oh. lot of damage. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Do, sorry, did you have something else there? No, it's the way it does this. It's weird. Okay. Um. So. Um. How are you? Um. How are you? Uh. What's What's the shot you take here? Um. At this first one. Am Am I gonna kill it? I don't know. Are you? I'd. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel I feel like I'm aiming for the neck. Okay. I want it to be this to be uh I want to stop the whole group in their tracks. Okay. So are you are you like jumping out? Are you throwing an axe? Are you Oh no, I'm jumping out. Okay. I don't want to throw the axe. Okay. Um great. Um so you um you <laughs> You leap uh, from out of your hiding spot, and to to paint the shot of of how this works, I think <laughs> the camera is like up behind this group of of uh, four of them as they're running in, and all they see is just this kind of blur of like dark clothing um, leap out sideways from the shadow, um, and sort of land and slide a bit off to the right and then the first one just like drops <laughs> um, nice and uh you uh the three others that are there um one of them um two of them come for you um and one of them goes to run uh towards Zahida Zahida at this point you have uh, finally found the sending plate um, and see one of these uh, uh, Cortangel come running towards you. Um, I guess I can make another token here. Huh? 
Um, so, Mathos, uh, you run into... Uh, so, one of them is is running off towards Zahida. Um, we'll come back to you guys in just a second. Uh, Mathos, so you run into... Um, into this building, and this this is like, um, this is the animal market. So this is big, like kind of um, warehousey, like barn like kind of uh, big buildings, um, and a lot of this is kind of burned out. Um, so I imagine you kind of running into this uh, space um, and uh, try and quickly take stock of your um, environment, um, and you don't. Uh, see anything right away, um, but I think you uh, hear um, the the quick um, shuffle of clawed lizard feet um, above you, um, like on a kind of a floor above you. What do you do? Mm. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Do I hear anything other than just it moving around? Um, no. Hmm. God damn it! I really thought it was going to be chasing Gintish. Yeah, I'll uh, try to find a way up. I guess. Okay. Kind of stealthily, if I can. Great. Uh, so that sounds like a divide danger dex to me, if I ever heard one. Uh, great. Uh, so uh, with a twelve, um, you are able to to find uh to find a ladder, um, and uh, so so you are basically ahead of it on its path. Um, so you find a ladder, um. And you're able to get to a spot where you, um, you can get the jump on it. Um, you you sort of see it start start coming towards you. Um, remembering that these things are are pretty big. Um, uh, just as a flavor reminder, um, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna keep myself in stealth and wait for it to get just past me. Okay. And then, because I'm um, assuming it's heading in the direction that I want it to. Correct. So it's coming past you. Yep. And then what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna slash the shit out of it. Okay. Um, do you have any? Um, I guess I mean if we're if we're following the same kind of rules as. Um, especially yeah, especially with the 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 twelve length of high day. Uh, go go ahead and give me your um roll your damage. Hmm. Um, so you get a good um a good slash at like the, the uh so you went you wait till it went past you, right? Yeah, and I'm I, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to incapacitate, so like aim for the, the back of the legs or Okay. Um so it can't move as quickly. What uh what weapons are you using here? Uh my rapier. My, oh, okay. My sword. Great, great, great. Um, so you get a good, a good uh, kind of step out and slash it across the back of the leg, um, and get a, a a good sort of nick of it there, um, and it kind of stumbles forward um, on the ground and then gets up um, and turns back towards you, um, and it has um, uh, some uh, a pair of. Uh, axes uh, that it it whips out and um, kind of uh, takes a a, a leap uh, towards uh, right right at you. Um, what are you doing? What is behind me? Where it came from? I'm assuming. Um. So you. Are up on this kind of high second floor, so like the first floor I think of this building was was pretty high, um, but like up on this second floor, um, um, 
if you're looking, so you're coming up the ladder from like the side of the building, if you're looking straight ahead of you past it, um, there's uh, sort of a lot of that has been burnt out. So there's like a sort of open air over towards the ground. Um, back to the right of you um, is a stretch of this building on the second floor that it was kind of running along. Um, again, in this big sort of like warehousey, um, Barney kind of building. I bet old buddy's in there. Mm. Is there any way I can get up higher? I assume most of the roof is probably gone. Yeah. Um, some of it, yeah. Um, I mean, if you're if you're looking to um. Because it's 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 uh, kind of jumping to get right on top of you. So if you're looking to uh, to get away from it, that's going to be some kind of a. I mean, a, a probably a defy danger dex to sort of get out of the way of its immediate yeah, attack. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if you're, I not... definitely don't want to let it swing at me just without doing anything. I'm not going to be able to tank a blow and then come back at it. Great. So uh, looking to get out of the way, um, give me that defy danger dex. Oh, oh fuck! Beautiful. Uh, mark that XP. Um, oh, so... two fucking ones. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Um, so you, uh, you try to sort of like juke it to to sort of get out of the way, um, but as you sort of push, um, off. The, the ground to the right, it actually sort of breaks out from under you and your foot sort of goes through the floor. Um, you... You have one armor again, right? Um, yep. So you're going to take... Um, it it tries to sort of leap uh, like right at you. Um, uh, but you you got a good enough a bit of its leg um, that it's it's leap is sort of like mistargeted a little bit um so it doesn't get the full weight of the hit that it wanted to um uh so you're gonna take two damage um and it sort of bowls on top of you um with your leg kind of half stuck through the floor here um and uh as you um yeah, I mean it's 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 more or less on top of you. It's it's winding, it's kind of grappling you with with one hand and and lifting its axe up with another hand, um, and then um, you uh, start to hear uh, some more uh, commotion from uh, below you as well. Good. Uh, is it physically restraining me at this point since it's standing on top of me? It is, um, and you also have your leg partially stuck through the floor. Perfect. I'm going to use Escape Artist. Okay. Uh, what does that do? When you try to slip free of anything physically restraining you, roll. Okay. You're free. <laughs> on a nine. Um, yep. Success, I also get to take a parting shot or oh, right, right. Okay. make it easy for somebody else to... Or I take a souvenir. So, um, okay. And, and I guess what I could envision is, and I'm just going to try to take the narrative away from you here. Yeah, dude, please when do. When it lands on top of me, the weight of it causes the floor to break more and I just fall down through it. That was also going to be my, um, uh, yeah, I, that was also going to be my, um, thing. Perfect. Um, so... All right, yeah. So here's what happens. Um, because <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, I mean, then you're gonna, because we established that this this first floor is kind of high. Um, I was gonna, uh, you you sort of do that, knowing that you're probably gonna have to take some. You're probably gonna hit the floor. Um, but just Second as you, roll. but just as you expect to hit the floor, um, you get caught. Um, by um Candace Gentish. There he is. <laughs> um and you can see him uh as you as you <laughs> landed in in his arm and the animal arms 
um, and you notice you you just narrowly miss getting like impaled by the the horn on the animal arm, um, <laughs> and um, uh, as you as you look as you look uh, you know sort of up over at at uh, them he he's he's not in great shape you can see sort of like blast burns um, and some uh, bloody wounds and stuff. Um, but he's, uh, he's there and he's got you. Um, and, uh, he says, uh, well, it's good. At least one of us is looking out for the other. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm back for you. <laughs> um, and, uh, so where, where are you guys trying to get to now? Mm, this thing's still up on the second floor. Mm -hmm. This way. Okay, so you're trying to go back um, to the out through this to the this north. hole and get out in the meadows. Okay, great. Um, so it and then here it kind of plops down to the floor. Um, and uh, that's this one, yeah. Um, and uh, and kind of comes after. Uh, I mean, you can you can tell it's it's starting to come after you. Um, so uh, let's go back to Fawit and Zahida. Um, so for what I just want to give you first shot at this, seeing the one go start running towards Zahida and the two running towards you, what is your, what is your move here? Um, I'm going to attack the one that started to run. Towards Zahida? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Um, mark that XP. Hey, you guys wanted XP. Um, we didn't. No, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> um, so okay. Um, so you uh, you try to try to go for um the. Uh, the yeah, try to go for the one that's going after Zahida. Um, but as you do, um, you catch um an arrow in the foot. Um, and I had the perfect opportunity to say <laughs> I chose foot. I did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you <laughs> take an arrow in the foot. Um, and and uh, uh then the uh, um from from one in the the one of the two um in the back um sort of has has pulled a bow out and and taken a shot at you um and the other one has come charging up and um sort of takes a a good swing at you um all right with its tail um and nope. throws uh, you uh, um uh, up against a wall is this <clears throat> Would you say I'm fighting all three of these by myself? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You, yes. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> great. So. You need to tack on them. I feel like I deserve the arrow a hundred percent. Okay, so take uh, take two damage from the arrow. Um, and the <laughs> the so the, you redirect the other one. So the other one goes to swing at you with its tail. Um, and you sort of like drop to the floor underneath of it uh as this arrow hits you in the foot um <laughs> and it takes a swing and uh slaps at the uh the other one um so this is a fucking circus it, i mean <laughs> you're not wrong um and uh Well, let's see. Yeah. Um it, this this underdog move is such a double edged sword. 
because I want to put myself in such bad situations. <laughs> it's great. Um, okay. Um, all right. Sorry, I'm just getting all my numbers sorted out here. Um, okay, so you, yeah, it takes a swing with its tail, um, misses you and, and sort of clocks into the other one. And that one sort of like gets knocked sideways into a wall, um, takes a bit of a hit, um, and is thrown off its course directly at Zahida. So Zahida, you now have, um, you found the plate, um, and, uh, now have a chance, uh, to, uh, do something. What is it that you would like to do? As well, you I'd like get shot in the foot. I'd like to do something. Uh, but before I do something, can we uh, take a ten minute break here? Yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm fucking starving. Please, uh, let's do that. So let's. Um, it is by my time nine fifteen right now. Um, yes. Let's take a sh ten. Uh, yeah, let's take ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Um, look, I even have oh. this nice interlude screen I can put up and we will be back.
And we're back. Um, okay. So, go back to my right screens here. Um, okay, so Zahida, you were up. Yep. What you doing? I, um, I've got this thing. I've got this stupid fucking tabletop. Um, tabletop role I just I just saw one of them get knocked over, right? Mm-hmm. The one that was headed towards me. Okay. Um, and there are two others, so there's one that did the knocking, yeah, yeah. and then one um, in the back with the bow. Yep. Okay. I, the one that just got knocked, I want to immediately, I, I want to fucking run at that one. Jump I want to fucking that. stab it. Alright. Give me that hack and slash. Beautiful. Yeah, bro. Uh, just so that we, just, it's out there, I am fighting mercilessly. Mm-hmm. For that extra four. There's my class. Here's the D four. Okay. Are you doing the um the extra damage to expose yourself? Negative. Alright. Um so you just run in there. <clears throat> and uh uh what's what's your Well it's on the um line like while it's on the line of like is it here. like is it on the ground or is it like knocked against a wall or something? Yeah, it got hit up against a wall. Okay. Um. I I stab it right in the chest, mm -hmm. just straight for the sternum, just fucking straight, immediately. Straight, yep. straight for the heart, clean stab. Yep, it's down. Nice. Uh, for wit, what's up? Well. <clears throat> For narrative flair, I want to say like I kip up. Oh yeah, good. With with an arrow it, in your knee, yeah, or in your foot. Hey, it's it maybe it's not as graceful as normal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, then I'm the one that tried to hit me with its tail. I'm just gonna go for it. Crap! Do you still have an arrow stuck in your foot, or are you like just out of curiosity? <laughs> P pull the arrow out and attack it with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I guess it like yeah I guess I would pull that arrow out of my foot I mean I'll give you if you want to make a sweet move where you like as you're doing your kip up you're snapping the arrow off in the middle of your foot and you like pull the arrow head out the other side or something oh okay sure god that sounds awful <laughs> Um, <laughs> and you go for the, uh, go for the one? Nice. Yeah, you guys are killing with these hack and slash, though. I'll give you that. Yeah, well, we're fucking it up on everything else. <laughs> um, do you want to take the extra damage? Um, no. Okay, great. Um, okay. Let's do a good eight damage. Um... Um and you are you are you doing it with the um with the arrow head? Is that uh, are, we, are we taking that play or No, just okay. cuz I mean technically I wouldn't get my extra damage if I did that. So. Oh, okay, I mean. I mean, you still have one axe though. It's <laughs> We can we can I just <laughs> play fancy with right. it. R rule of cool here, man. <laughs> It's like bear, bury a, one of the axe into its side, and then I just like ram the arrowhead into its eye. Yeah, into the yeah, yeah. Um, that sounds awesome, and uh, and it drops. Um, oh shit! Okay. Fucking and... go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you. Uh, so there's the the one left with the bow. Um, and it. Uh, let me pull that one over here. Take that out. Um, the one left with the bow uh, turns and uh, and runs. Um, are you doing anything nah, about that? Are you? <laughs> nah, he's not getting away. <laughs> okay, what's uh, what's the play? Oh, just like a full sprint at him, and. I'm going to 
jump onto him with both axes. Okay, I want with a arrowed foot. Um, I want to defy danger constitution. Okay. To make that run. That's that's my. <laughs> oh, you're bro. You're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then um, give me that hack and slash, and then we'll paint this. Um, okay, all right. Um, roll, uh, roll that damage. Um, great. Um, let's see. Um. trying to decide if I want to do a thing here or not. Um, no, I don't think it will do the thing. What will happen is um, you uh, so you 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 just just truck it on this this foot that you've just had an arrow. You just like um, you're full on <laughs> um, faithful of Vartir mode here and just powering through the pain Um and uh you yeah up uh f full on uh leap up onto its uh back and just like two axes straight down like in its the uh, the the back of it um and you kind of like ride it to the ground basically as it falls forward and um uh that you... only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you sort of ride to the ground and sort of roll off the front of it, um, just as it it kind of uh, passes the 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 side of a building, um, and uh, uh, Mathos and Gentis Gentish, uh, you you can see this <laughs> happen to the side of you basically as it comes around the side of a building, um, and Fawit is there like on top of this and. Uh, uh, rolls off the the front of this thing as it's uh as it's dead nice um, <laughs> i tap the plate to my back and i move over i start it's time to go brother um, yeah it's definitely time to go okay so well hey we got one coming right behind us yeah that's What's uh what's what's your what's your play for that? Are you just gonna kind of try and uh book it, or are you gonna try and set something up, or what's the play? I was hoping you wouldn't say that. I'm gonna set something up. <laughs> well, I'll give I'll give first uh first thing to to Mathis and Gentis Gentish here, as they're the ones that are actually. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's coming behind us, mm -hmm. and as soon as I get around the corner out of sight, mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop and press myself up against the wall. Okay. Um, are you um, indicating anything to Gent as Gentish as well, or? I uh, I mean I think he'll just take a cue. Okay. Um. So he does the same. Um. And this thing was up on the second floor, so it kind of you see it. Uh. If you kind of backing yourself up against the wall, it jumps out. Uh. Above you. And past us. Uh, and and sort of yeah. What's what's the idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass. I'm, I'm gonna hack and slash the shit out of this thing. Okay. <laughs> um, I will give you um an assist from Gantis Gentish. So take a plus one to this roll. Nice. <laughs> can I take it plus one damage? <laughs> <clears throat> um, roll your damage. <laughs> um beautiful um so it i'm gonna expose myself too okay um uh i will tell you that you don't need to do that <laughs> how about that <laughs> okay <laughs> um <laughs> so what uh what's what's your intention here uh as soon as it lands i'm gonna jump on it and just ram my my blade down the back of its neck or throat or head or whatever soft spot I can find. Um, okay, so what happens is it goes and jumps out in front of you. Um, Gantis Gentish sees you 
sort of uh, sort of make the move. Um, he they uh, pull out uh, their whip and and uh, throw that whip and grab it by the uh, one of its legs and sort of gives a hard uh, yank and starts running at it at the same time you do. Um, you uh, you run and, and sort of bury your uh, your blade into it um, just as as Gentis Gentis sort of jumps um, up on top of it um, and uh, lands with his boot on its head um, and it's a really nice boot as it as it collapses to the ground um, there's like a half second where it sort of like stops and starts struggling a little bit and then without much moving he just you just see this like kind of click um, and this hook on its boot on his boot just like sort of thrusts down um, into the head of this thing and it dies wait um and I pull uh, myself off like flick the blood off the rapier sheath it and say all right let's go <laughs> um gives you uh gives you a bit of a tired nod um as uh as he's not looking the best uh, like i said and uh and you guys uh move over here um so we're uh a little more free here um so what's your kind of overall uh kind of play from this from from here thanks Get to the boat. We're running. Get to the boat. Get to the boat. We're running okay. as fast as we can. We're running. So you guys are all going straight for the boat, yeah. um, and the refugees are just going off on their own, just to be. Yeah, they're headed uh, towards New Water Nest, right? I mean, if they're smart, they're heading like away from danger. Yeah, th they are. Um, but they're also a group of you know, uh, very haggard and tired. Uh, refugees uh, who have been stuck in a building for a week with no food and no water um, about to sort of run for their lives. Uh, how many, how many um, people does our boat hold? Uh, I mean, it's small, but obviously it doesn't hold 40, but how many like could you, it hold? You could probably hold like two or three more. Um, okay. Here's, here's the thought. We get the boat and we escort them the rest of the way not, you know, like, on the ground, but high up so that we can see if there's any danger coming okay. towards so them and towards us. Them there. Right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, okay. I'm down for that. Yeah, it works. Um, boat, 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 boat. Great. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah. I, I, that's that's <laughs> cool with me. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can start to see, you can start to see, uh, movement. Um, there's a, a group. Yeah, we never figured out what they were doing at that tower, but there was, a, like, a lot of them, wasn't there? There, yeah, there was a lot of them. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know that you ever got a really good look at how many there were. Um, but yeah, I think there was, there was a, 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 decent sized group that you could see starting heading towards you and especially as you're um getting over to the boat they're getting they're getting closer and closer um give me uh cuz you had the boat uh sort of roped up and spiked up in the side of this cliff um to keep it safe um I mean if it comes down to it I will literally just cut the ropes yeah, give me, um, let's do this. Mathos, why don't you give me a Defy Danger Dex, uh, for kind of piloting the ship out, and I'll give, um, oh, dang. Um, okay, yeah. So, uh, okay, so you've got this group following you. Um... Uh, or, or I don't making... think we should head straight for the refugees. If yeah, they're that's us. that's that's my question. That they yeah. they sort of are. Um, so are you gonna try and like loop around, or what's what's your? I mean, um, we can get up pretty high with this thing, right? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, what the fuck are they gonna do? Are they gonna fucking grow our wings and fly? 
I mean, uh, yeah, maybe. I think loop, looping around is like totally fine, but I mean, if we get high enough up, I mean, there's not shit they can do about it. No, and, right, and but you're if also they keep underneath us as we're moving, and we go to hover over these people, they're right. gonna be on the ground. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine if we like lose them off over here somewhere, maybe off on this. Or this even like map. this I don't is think... this is a cliff, right? Cliff, yeah, that's what I was also. And this say. is is this all water? No, that's up on the side. That's up the side of a mountain, basically. Okay. <clears throat> We've got mountains to your north. Um, but if you if you want to try, we could and... lose them. We could lose them. Like, like we could like you know. Well, is it re is it like really 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 high mountains? Um... I mean, we could just get on the other side of the mountains and then fly either west or east, and they won't fucking know which direction we're going. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's I think it's reasonable that you can that you between the the sort of the side of the cliff of the actual Toberon here, I think there's you can. Kind of get get down, especially with a, a good a good roll there, um, with your thirteen. I think, however, um, however that plays out, you're you're able to sort of do that, <clears throat> and then get um, get back around and uh, follow the uh, the refugees back um, as the the sun starts to rise and color sort of shoots up over the mountains and it's beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, so I guess if you're if you're you're also trying to stay out of sight here, that you wouldn't get a look at anything else that's going on um, down in the city. So uh, yeah, I think that's. Uh, <laughs> well, we've answered her question, which is no, it's not fucking safe. <laughs> that's the plan yeah. here, <laughs> um, and we'll get you guys all back to. Uh, it's a new water nest. Um, so why don't we uh, call it there? Sweet. Um, a great sweet. success. That was a great success. That was <laughs> so successful that I've almost. Wait, what's isn't it like f your level plus seven or something? Seven, like that? yeah. Or is it level eleven? Plus seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. Uh. I mean, I'm also very close to leveling up again. <laughs> yeah, I only need three more points. I need one. Um, okay. Ooh, I might get him with my. Oh, I might get him with my. Yeah, let's end, uh, of end of session. Let's do end of <laughs> session. Uh, we meet you in this, uh, okay, bonds. Let's go through bonds. Anybody got a bond? I don't have bonds with either of the people we're with, so no. Um, great. Well, so we should make sure, Mathis and Fawit, you guys had sort of the unfinished bonds, right? Uh, yeah. Um, is there anything you guys want to like talk through with that and figure out, or or do you want to just do that on your own time? Great. <laughs> own time it is. Um, crickets. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crickets. Uh, the bonds thing is the 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 one thing about this game that I'm definitely not <clears throat> understanding. I guess. Okay. Um. How? I how so? Just don't understand how I'm really picking one out to create for these people. Well, like, well, so what's the one? Uh, what's the one you're missing right now? Zahida um, and Foyt now, because I've completed fo or resolved Foyt. Oh, okay. So, I mean, so what? So okay. So what was your what was your one with Foyt before? Was the uh, basically that I owed her for helping me bury the guy that killed himself. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and that seemed pretty. Weak. And you did that by I think you saving her, her life. Yeah, you saved her life with uh, Edgar at the end of that mm -hmm. battle. Um. So what? I mean, uh, if we just go from here, like what? What is your feeling uh, about? For wait, like, was there any specific, even even specific moment during this session, um, that you, um, that caused you to sort of have some kind of opinion about her? Yeah, the parkour. Okay, it was amazing. <laughs> I um, learned from her. <laughs> okay, so that's that's a good. Um, <clears throat> so I mean, you could be something along the lines of like. Uh, that you're that you're really sort of impressed by her skills and that you want to learn from her. Is that something that sounds 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so just just kind of that. I mean, like I said, sort of the you have the opinion of the characters, so you're like, she's super cool, um, and you're imp- like I said, impressed by her skills. And then the actionable part of that is that you actively want to try and um, like learn from her. Um, so then you would be looking to make opportunities to, uh, you know, to get her to teach you things Each. or whatever. Also, she scares the living fuck out of me. Um, I So I would, I mean, I would put that in, in the bond there. Like, she's very scary, but is very skilled. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I, that's uh, the way I would kind of put that together does that does that make sense yeah um yeah and then so you just want to figure out uh what that looks like for for zahida as well um along the same kind of lines um and then for what yours was i have a bond with both was there one that you were missing uh, <clears throat> I sort of, I typed up some stuff really fast for Mathos. Oh, okay. Oh, is this your, I don't trust him, but I need to trust him enough to do what's right for the rest of us. Okay. Mm, that's fair. Um, yeah. So was there, I mean, was there anything in here that you felt resolved any of that, or? I mean, to some extent, because he actually, uh, went up onto the top of the roof to actually look out while we were trying to hmm. find the tablet that showed like good forward thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, I mean, also keep in mind that um, these don't necessarily always have to be like moving in a positive direction either. Um, like, like for instance, uh, um, uh, yeah, I guess I don't know. This would be applicable to to anybody uh, here that happened, but like is saying, if for instance you were the kind of character that would have gotten upset by the way that Mathos just like ran off with that, or you know either of you just ran off without Gentis Gentish, um, you know, something like that could could cause you to, you know, you know what I mean, could cause you to lose some, um, uh, you know, to lessen your opinion of someone. Um, so, so just just keep in mind that it doesn't always win necessarily... back. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm just using that as, as an example of something that could potentially, um, uh, just to, just to say that it doesn't always necessarily need to move in a positive direction. Um, uh, okay, so all of that said, was there anybody that feels any of their bonds were resolved here, completely explored, no longer yes, relevant maybe. or otherwise? What you got? Hold on, let me let me write this up really quick. This one is for Fawit. Um So, okay. Um yeah, I we're, right now my bond for Fawit is when in close of the faithful prone to suggestions of violence. She really believes that the means justify the ends. I trust her to protect us even if her violence is perhaps more than I would care for. I don't know if this resolves it or just changes it but i want to change it to um i know implicitly that for what will protect us and me in particular however she puts herself in danger to do so um thank you um her life is not expendable and i aim to make her aware of that i i think that's beautiful yeah i think that's great um write that down yeah. Real quick. Um, and then take an XP for, um, for resolving that. Yeah, because I think I think that's a really great instinct, especially like you're saying. Um, and and in light of what Fawit was just saying about putting yourself in danger to trigger the moves. Exactly. <laughs> Would you say I'm outnumbered by this? Yes, motherfucker, you're outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. just such a fun move. It's great. Um, cool. Uh, so take uh, yeah, take the XP from that. Um, anybody else, or was that it for bonds? I think, because I think there's an argument for somewhat resolving mine, the one I have with Mathos. Okay. Because it was <clears throat> a he went out, he 
he literally went and he was a lookout for us. Yeah. Which is, you know, doing what's right and helping us. And then like me personally as a player, I like the fact that he copied the parkour. <laughs> um yeah no totally uh so what what would be your what would be your proposal for for how that how that changes well with the with the parkour aspect it i because i almost want to shift it into almost a little bit of a rivalry slash pushing him Mm -hmm. i love it especially with mathos's change towards you yeah i think that's great So yeah. Um. So figure out what that looks like, and then give yourself the XP for changing that. All right. Um. Okay. Da, 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 bonds, and then uh, let's look at alignment. <clears throat> Zahida. <laughs> checked that box. Yes, uh, that's a huge check right there. <laughs> um, so take that XP. Uh, does anybody else feel like they are owed some XP for their alignment? I, mean, I, kind I did of not let that dude to run help away. people. <clears throat> uh, for it, yeah, I will give you that for for chasing after that guy, and not letting him get away. Um, especially, especially having to push through the pain to do so. Um, I will give you that. Uh, Mathos, what was your? Use trickery to help people win the lock and not. Okay. The law sure. doesn't really apply, but I did trick that monster twice into running past me. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I uh I don't I don't I don't know that I'm convinced that that completely applies. Um because I I think e- even if it's not talking about the the literal law, I think there is uh and you're also not really helping someone. So just like just tricking someone is I think I, okay, a, next time I'm just gonna let those things kill people. A piece Fuck of it. That. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got this. All right. That's uh, fine. <laughs> um. So I'm. I mean, does anybody else have any opinions? I'm inclined to say no. I lean towards no. If it's Man. Okay, input for me. <laughs> it's too bad that that's your. It's too bad it's not like oh I tricked somebody to help somebody else instead of just oh i tricked the law well it's true it's yeah so i mean I, like i'm i'm okay with not always taking the the law uh literally um but i think i think the 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 helping part there is a little more uh i think needs to be a little more specific like we need to be, you need to be doing something that's that's a little more specifically going towards, uh, you know, helping some. I mean, because it is, because it is, it's. I think this the spirit of it is is a. Um, so how about rigging an explosion to help the townspeople escape? Because we did do that. Um, you did do that. It just didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, um, but it did work. Okay, uh, cause you're, I mean, cause yeah, it was, it was, the whole sort of plan of it was misdirection. Correct. And you were helping the, okay, was it your plan? <laughs> I think so. Um, that was six months ago. I don't but... remember, um, and I just listened to those two. All right, I, I mean, and I, that was last, kind of last session anyway, but, um, all right, I'll 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 give you I'll give you that. Sweet. Um, level six. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. did we learn something new and important about the world? 
I am inclined to say that you found the beginning of some threads, uh, but I don't know that you got anything substantial enough to say that you learned anything. Yeah, I mean, I would say no. It sounds like the fact that we flew so high and couldn't see everything going on below us. Yeah, I mean, because you, cause you didn't... You, I mean, for one, you guys didn't really look into much of what was actually going on here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm... I'm I'm inclined to say no on that one. Um, I think there's, like I said, there's there's stuff that is there to be discovered, um, but I don't think you pulled hard enough on any of, or really pulled at all on any of those threads to <laughs> to get payoff for it. Um. Great, so that's that one. Um, did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? <coughs> I mean, I almost them. died, so I think I think yes. Yeah, I mean, so notable is always the 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 operative part of that, though. Um, I mean, a creature that is double our size isn't notos notable. So what about the fucking tiger thing? I mean, again, I mean, it's just sort of, you know, some run-of-the-mill. Um, I'm trying to think when I've given you this in the past. Um, so I think the times that I've given you in the past, it was, it was you know, for quote-unquote named enemies. <laughs> um like when you guys had that ship battle with the um uh that uh sister that was coming to kill Orn cuz she he killed her sister um there was that she had a name um when you killed Edgar so i again i am inclined to say no unless anyone can convince me thoroughly <laughs> Damn it, Tan, let me level. <laughs> um, did we loot a memorable treasure? We have that slate. slate you got this yeah, this one you got out with the uh with the thing, so uh, so I will give you that. Sick. Okay, I leveled. Whoop whoop. Um, level, did level everybody six. Level, so wait, did you level two? Yeah, I am one experience point away. Ooh. Oh, bummer. Um, it's rolled, just rolled too good. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you want to do about the uh, the rule book? The rule book? Yeah, since it's not up anymore, active. Oh, uh, I will. I will look into that. Um, it might just be like a different place, um, or something. Um, so once once we get off all. Okay, I'll just level next time then. Um, yeah, I got. I'm or you can put it in a thing, and then maybe I can before come next back time. And... Okay. Um, all right. Well, I think that'll that'll do it for the stream here. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, watching or listening or whatever, and um, we'll see everybody next time. All right. Where's my thing? Here it is. Okay. All right. Bye.